Welcome to another one of our famous unboxing videos here at the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery. Yes, we're still famous. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'll another... just accept it. We're famous now. See? That's why I keep getting stopped in the streets. I know, right? Exactly. You too, right? No, all the time. All the time. That's what happens around here. Yeah. Uh, so we got another really nice big shipment in, hey. and this one is another one that Amy did the shipment, so I have no idea what we got. So and it's going to be like Christmas. Because of the holidays, I did the shipment two weeks ago, so I don't even know what we got. <laughs> Do you know? I have some stuff that I remember being able to. Alright, well it's a surprise for everybody then. <laughs> Fly. I know, exactly. Oh, it's nice and warm. All right, first, nice guppies. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, cool. Those are red... Snakeskin. Snakeskin, yes. that's what it, that's the SS. Oh, those are beautiful. I think it is just males, but hey, All right. guppy display. Guppy display, I like it. Pygmy quarries. I love pygmy quarries. Can't go wrong. You yep. really can't. <laughs> <laughs> so teeny and wiggly. Especially when they're in a big group. Oh yeah. They school and they hang out in the middle. It's so I love cool. Them. Yep. What do we got here? Wild cockatoides. Wild ones. Cool. So we're very used to getting the domestic strains of cockatoides in here, with super exaggerated orange features on their fin, which is beautiful. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there is something really special and really cool about the straight up wild form of this fish. And they are quite pretty. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. They're not as flashy, but they're really cute. <laughs> and they also got a nice blue on them. Yeah. In most cockatoid populations. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to be cool. Mm -hmm. Sparkling gouramis, another very cool anabantoid. Mm -hmm. Super easy fish, great nano fish. So peaceful. Just, yeah, adorable. It's so adorable. <laughs> it's not what we get in that often, but I'm always happy to see them. Yep, me too. Oh, what these are the Hillstream the loaches. Oh, nice. This is an Aeromyzon species. So the Aeromyzons and Gastromyzons are tend to be a little bit smaller than the Suelias. So I think these are pretty much full size of this two inches. Wow. Great little film algae eaters. Are those what we have in our display? They're not the same one, but they are similar. The okay. ones in the display are Gastromyzons. Okay, there we go. Speaking of wow. domestic strains of Apistos, this is the uh, Fire Red Agassizi strain. And I'm seeing there's definitely males and females in there, although it's a little harder to tell because of the brilliant coloration of these fish. I think those are the best ones I've seen. They're, They're bigger, amazing. definitely. Wow. Yeah. I love that dark stripe on the spine. That's, That's like, just gorgeous. That's my favorite part of that thing. I really want to know the genetics of that one. Like, how did they come up with that? Is it a, is it a hybrid? Is it a line bred? I'm pretty sure it's line bred. Wow. The part that always floors me about the males in this strain, though, is that they have like a little lighter spot in that spade tail, so it looks like a little Bunsen burner. It does! <laughs> yeah, a little flame. That's very cool. Amano shrimp, that's a staple. <laughs> we needed those. We gone in the week. Come get those I'm quick sure. because those will go so fast. Doesn't matter how many we get, they are they all go. sold out. You have thermoides. That should be exclamation point right oh, for us. Excellent! Um, so that's Bororos. Mm -hmm. You're at thermoides. Close relative to the chilies that everybody seems to love so much, I don't know why people don't want exclamation point reservoirs. They're, they're just better. as beautiful. No, I think they're better. They're, are they better? <laughs> they're orange where the chilies are red, but they get a right. little bit more like iridescent metallic on them than the chili reservoirs. They're just kind of a flat red, so. It really is a true orange, too. Yeah, Like some is. things they say are orange, they're like really a nice tan color. Yeah, it's like a generous brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, once they mature and color up, it is a true orange. They're yeah. absolutely beautiful. They take some work. Yep. Croaking garamis. Oh, fun. Nice. That's a fun choice. Yeah, I figured we were going to go for some garamis this time. Croaking garamis and sparkling garamis are kind of similar, but like different enough, I think mm -hmm. everybody prefers one over the other. I think I like the croakings better. Do they croak? I've never heard it, but they do. Nice. Mm -hmm. I think we need to do an experiment. I know. It's, <laughs> it's like their mating behavior, actually. Really? Yeah, so they call to each other. Nope, it's just that's how they. Fascinating. And it's supposed to be like a real low, like. <laughs> How'd that go again? Uh, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Rombo Barb. Somehow, Charles, I think these are for you. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Barb guy over here. Well, we've got one lonely single one that will be very happy. 
Oh, you gotta keep having the love for the Nothobronchius Achilles. This is Eggers Eye, and that male, I'm just gonna say it, that is one of the most beautiful fish I have ever seen. That one right there. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Wow, he Absolutely is really gorgeous. nice. It's Eggers hard to be a standout fish in a genus like that. Like I a know, standout but Eggers Eye is a standout fish. Eggers Eye is a personal favorite with the no for me. I, I don't have any particular reason why I'm like, that. I like that better. Because yeah. they're gorgeous. Because they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> we just set that over on that side so we don't set it on the dock. Yeah, she's Splash right is behind. here observing. Uh, I don't know if you can see her over on this side, but she's, she's observing being part of the action. All right. Oh, we might need that in case we can't pronounce something. Or read something. I don't think that's going to help us with either of those things. <laughs> I never learned to read. <laughs> Next. Whoa. Autos. Oh, good. I need some of those for my tanks upstairs. They're getting a little rough looking. That is a nice big batch of autos, too. Yeah. Great job. That's another one we've been selling out of because people are buying them in appropriate groups, and it's yes. really nice to see. It is good to see. Group of five? Yeah, minimum? I think the more you want to do, the better. At least minimum three, ideally six or more, I would say, for well, autos. I like that. selling groups of eight or more. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Speaking of something that does great in groups, this is Corydor Similis. They stay small, they do great in a group. These are the smallest Cory that still looks like a Cory. I'll me. give you that. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're not a dwarf Cory, if anyone watching right. was curious, but they're definitely a small quarry. <laughs> so not pygmaeus or hybrosis. Or a hysterics. little or a set which one? Hysterics. Hysterics. Yes. You're right, not hybrosis, it's not us. No both. But the, both. Those are all considered the dwarf quarries. All three of those. The hysterics is the black diamond. This is why I keep these two. <laughs> <laughs> to argue about catfish with. Right, exactly. All right. No more. Hey look, co more corridor stimulus. Excellent. Wow, that's, uh, I had a little, like, uh, matrix deja vu there. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl garamis. This is one of the most stately of the garamis, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous fish. And if you want a bigger garami, definitely more peaceful than the three spots. For sure. They do great in groups. In fact, I think they do a little bit better in groups. They are uh, not that difficult as far as garamis go to breed. So did you just find the garami section and hit yes? <laughs> For the ones I like. <laughs> <laughs> but we have been getting requests for Pearl Garamis. We have. Perfect. Perfect. As we should. Another great quarry, Atro Personotus. Oh, this, those the are polka dots, right? They yeah. are. I think those are probably my two favorite quarry species. Are they really? So it's a wonder those are the ones we got. They do look like they're wearing pajamas. They do. Mm -hmm. And I do sort of love their more random polka dot patterns. Two bags of them. Good call. Cute. Yep. I love it. Exactly. <laughs> but both things we're really good at oh, right yeah. now. They top my list of important attributes. <laughs> These rubber bands are so sad. They're very disappointing. <laughs> A blue alien beta. Nice! Like that guy. Now, I don't normally go for the hybrids, but the aliens just really do it for me. <laughs> yeah, those are tricky to resist. It doesn't hurt that they probably have some Maha in it, right? Yeah. Whoa! Yes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Those are Brocus multiradiatus. So, it's kind of the oh antithesis gosh. of uh, Corydoras pygmaeus. <laughs> it's not a Corydoras, so they used to be in Corydoras. It is still part of the armored catfish group. It is similar to a cord, but not. And these are massive. I'm like, remember when I said I'm not a big brocus in this display? This is exactly in that display. This is exactly what I'm talking about. There you go. There's <laughs> the big brocus for the display. Unless I'm of course. I'm in awe. <laughs> oh, look, there's look even at more. Them. So this is uh, brocus multiradiatus. Um, so happy. They actually these. will get even a little bit bigger than that. And uh, apparently you need to come and get them quick or Charles is going to put them in a display. <laughs> yeah, I, I was not expecting them to come in mature. <laughs> long fin white clouds. It's one of the few long fin species that I actually like. Maybe it's because of their historical significance. I remember my dad talking about going into a store in the 50s and seeing the meteor minnow. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the long fin white cloud. And they are, they are beautiful. They're lovely little fish, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Just wait till they mature. Right? <laughs> but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. The moose face loach. 
We've got one guy in particular who every time we get these in, he just comes in and grabs them. It's a sand sifting loach. They have really goofy faces. Sometimes you'll see them with just their head sticking out of the sand. <laughs> this is just more of those brocus. So I'm... apparently we got a nice big group of those brocus in. Well, I wasn't expecting them to be four inches long. <laughs> they are very cool. <laughs> I am not disappointed. Nope. <laughs> All right, last box. Let's see what we have. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh, that one didn't even try. I, I'm sending a complaint. Yep. Send us springy or rubber bands. Exactly. <laughs> Just got it. We need that for the fun. Oh, cool. This is Picta guppies. Really, they're not a guppy. It's a Micropacilia Picta. Cool. Those came in good size yeah. too. And they have got some good red in the in some of those males. It's a funny thing to say for a tiny fish, but I mean, those could be able to start breeding right away. That's really what you want. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Wrestling half beaks, good call on those, Amy. This is a customer order. It's nice. one of those. We don't order half beaks unless people want them. Right. But I always want to have them in because they're so weird. One of the few lab bears in Southeast Asia. Is this a smaller half beak or is it a larger one? I don't know them much. I don't remember. Okay, because some of them only get like this big. Right. There's Praycox rainbows, Melanotania Ooh. Praycox, one of my favorite rainbows. I would argue that it's probably the most popular rainbow, and it probably deserves it. It definitely does. <laughs> They're a super easy breeder too. Uh, we have, often have babies show up in our quarantine tanks because we put a group in a quarantine tank, keep them in there for two weeks, pull them out. If we leave that quarantine tank empty for a little while, we'll have babies in there. They well, just show up. They're a rainbow where the males and females look equally beautiful. That's and point. that's, I mean, maybe not equally, but the females are still quite gorgeous. They're great. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Of course, no watercolors order is complete without a wild type betta. This is betta Persephone. And they came in looking really good. They're they really good size. Those are the biggest Persephone I've seen. Very and they're nice still fish. tiny. Very nice. Tiny, tiny. Multiple bags here of tank race cardinals. Oh, wait. No, oh, those are that's not, not cardinals. cardinals. These are cardinals. All right, so I'm sure there's more in there. There's yeah. some tank race cardinals. Usually we prefer wild caught. Um, they didn't have them this time, so we're gonna see how the tank rays are in comparison. It's Excellent. been a long time since we've gotten them. Excellent, I like it. Brigitte Resboros, for those people, or Bororas Brigitte. For the uneducated. <laughs> <laughs> it's for always, those people that like red over orange. It's That's always right. tricky to say, oh, an alternative to an amazing fish that needs no alternative. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We can spread the love here. There's Ruby Tetras, speaking of, there <laughs> and there are, there's no harm in having two gorgeous teeny tiny redfish, and I Ruby Tetras are different, but just as cool. Uh -huh. Excellent little Cute fish. Group. Speaking of great little fish, Rummy Nose Tetras, uh -huh. cool group of those guys. You know, I'm holding out for something in here, and I'm not seeing it yet. Just I don't remember what you're holding out for. Uh -huh. That's Pisto Panduros. My favorite of Pisto. Those came in huge for a while. They look really good. Those mm. are very nice fish. Definitely males and females. <laughs> yeah. That, that male right there is going to be amazing. I know. I'm really excited about these. We do get lots of good of Pistos here. It's very cool. <laughs> and yet I'm still excited when I see a particularly amazing one. Speaking of a particularly amazing one, how about a Pistogram of Hong's Lord? Oh, I like those. Whoa. Ooh! Look at that Sorry, red. What? <laughs> Look at those tummies. Yeah. <laughs> wow. These guys are like, it's time to get those in a tank and put some cover in there too because. I didn't know they got that. It's like a bright red belly. Crazy. Margerata? What is that? Oh, um, soon to Daniel? Soon to Daniel. So that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So this is the, is this the blue one? No, this, this is the, the mini neon green. Mini neon green. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they sent us these instead of Kubotais. I think they might have. Maybe I selected these. Kubotais is what I was told about. Well, that wouldn't be the first time that that's happened. <laughs> no, it would not. My <laughs> hand eye coordination it really leaves no. something to be desired sometimes. That's okay. Either yeah. way, these are going to be some amazing fish. Um, and they're not the same green. They're actually very different than the Kubotais. Cool. So I'll, it'll be fun to see those. Right now, they look clear, which they is do. also <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah. Those are going to be some great fish. Awesome. There we go. An excellent order, Amy. Nice job. It will be lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Looks like you guys have some work to do unpacking. Yeah. <laughs>
Keep subscribing to these videos so you find out what we are going to get in first. Remember, these are going to go through a two-week quarantine period before we have them ready to go. Mm -hmm. Get your orders in quick for what we have. We'll make sure that they're healthy and ready for you uh, by the time you come in and pick them up. Yeah. Be sure to check out the Watercolors Aquarium Gallery podcast. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, keep in touch if there's ever anything you want to see us do in these videos. And if you want us to order in a fish for you, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have lots of fun and keep those hands wet. Nice job, guys. Okay, but the brokest. Okay, but the brokest. <laughs> brokest, bro.